Hello everyone. Today from Ghana. Ghana signs strategic partnership agreement with Guyana. This article comes from the Herald. The governments of Ghana and Guyana have signed a framework agreement on cooperation designed to actualize the growing strategic partnership between the two countries. Uh, in case you didn't know, Guyana is uh, north of Brazil, it's a, in, at the northernmost part of, of uh, South America. And they speak English. Um, I actually uh, was deployed there when I was in the U.S. Army to, not to Guyana, but to neighboring uh, Dutch, former Dutch Guyana, now it's called Suriname. And if the, the um, countries are similar, and I assume that they are, uh, the populations, they, at one time, obviously, they were all Native American, but the Native American population, uh, of course, isn't nearly as large as it used to be before the Europeans got there. But they do have Native Americans there, and um, they, they have... Uh, a large uh, black population and a large Indian population from India. And they're about the same, at least in Suriname. And I would imagine they're about the same size in um, Guyana. And just in case you didn't know, the uh, the British did that on purpose. And I guess the, the uh, excuse me, I don't know about uh, the Dutch, but the British were known for doing that. I, I think they did it in in uh, Kenya for the same reason, but to buffer uh, the uh, black population so that, you know, to create competition for them so that they wouldn't, I assume so that they wouldn't have all the power. And so now you, you have a competition, at least in Suriname, uh, I don't know about Guyana, but between the Indians and the, the blacks. And I even met a, a young lady from, uh, well, she was Indian in the United States. And I told her that I went to Suriname and she looked at me funny and asked me why I was there. But anyway, um, a number of memoranda of understanding MOU in the petroleum and investment promotion sectors have also been signed on Tuesday, December 7th. 2021 in Georgetown, Guyana, at the end of a three-day official visit by the Vice President of Ghana, Dr. Mahamadou Bawumi, Bawumia. Honorable Mabomba also signed on behalf of the Petroleum Commission of Ghana, a memorandum of understanding on cooperation in the petroleum sector with the Ministry of Natural Resources of Guyana represented by Honorable Vikram Barrett, uh, I assume that's an Indian person, uh, Minister of Natural Resources, Minister, Minister Responsible for Petroleum, while Mr. Alec Dadley, Dady, probably a black man, uh, Board Chairman of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Mutual Cooperation in Investment Promotion with the Guyana Office for Investment, represented by Peter R. Ramsarup. Um, I don't know what kind of name that is. Chief Investment Officer and CEO, Guyana Office for Foreign and Local Investments. The cooperation includes exchange of information, professional training, through programs of visits or specialized courses by the granting of scholarships for technical and professional specialization, implementation of joint projects of technical cooperation in areas of mutual interest, exchange of professionals and technicians, supply of equipment and material needed for the implementation of specific projects and any other form of cooperation to be agreed upon by the two countries. Among others, the Petroleum Commission is to use its expertise and resources to support Guyana to develop its na national competencies to enable it to efficiently manage the petroleum sector, 
evaluate and establish future partnership opportunities with the Commission and other relevant entities in Ghana to ensure continued collaboration between the two countries and provide certain consulting and project management services and other activities. So obviously the, uh, the Ghanaian government uh, is doing well with its it's a uh, petroleum industry. I, I remember when it first started. Uh, it was maybe almost 20 years ago. I, I don't think it was that long ago, not nearly as long as as uh, Nigeria's petroleum industry has, has been around. I think it was called the Jubilee Fields, but anyway, um, I, I remember it was a big deal uh, because they found a lot of petroleum in the ocean. But it's really good news uh, that Ghana is uh, taking the leadership, uh, acting as a big brother for um, the uh, Guyana nation that has a, a large black population and uh, letting them know that uh, they will share basically any information that uh, or expertise that they have on the petroleum industry that's been helping them. Obviously, they're successful, Success, successful enough to offer advice um, uh, to uh, and information and expertise to a a younger uh, uh, petroleum uh, industry in in Guyana. Um, and I remember Guyana, they first found oil off their shores. It was about four years ago at the very most. So their industry is very new. So we'll keep an eye on this because I'm, I'm sure more information about this will, will come out. Uh, we'll be hearing uh, uh, information about collaboration between the two countries, I'm sure.